what they do if you left them on read. They don't think anything of it and just assume you're busy. Because she's chill. They're a little bit hurt, but they won't say anything. The poor baby. They just straight up send a fuck you message. <laughs> They complain to everyone until you answer again. I won't leave her on read on purpose anyway. They call you, but pretend it's an accident. My dog is snoring, so ignore that, but I'm marrying this character. I would love to. <laughs> this character's my best friend. No, he's not. I secretly want to be this person's friend. <laughs> That's not a secret. I can't lie. I hate this character. I will become this person's biggest fan. <laughs> I love her. My hero characters if they had to babysit Eri for the whole night part two. They would take her outside to look at the moon and all the stars. They're so cute. They get all their friends and have a little karaoke night with Eri. That is so cute, I can see that. They buy a bunch of treats she probably hasn't tried before and have a, like a huge taste test night with her. I'm not sure how I feel about you babysitting. This person's just giving her all the school gossip all night long. I feel like it would actually know quite a lot. <laughs> it would be telling her everything. They tuck her into bed and make up the sweetest bedtime story. <laughs> I feel like you would actually have a really cute but crazy story. My hero characters, if you told them you hate them, part two, I think, because you were mean and for some reason did that. But I understand with him. <laughs> they just go, that's fine because I hate you even more. I feel like I'd be really sad if you said that. <laughs> just go, I hate me too. They're really hurt, but they try to hide it. I don't think I'd feel bad saying that, to be honest. <laughs> they shrug and just say they love you. That's so cute. They give you a sad frown and ask why. Honestly, what is wrong with me? My hero characters, if you woke them up and asked to sleep in their dorm. They give you the cutest smile and move over in bed so you can join them. Oh, she would. They just let you have the bed. They want you to be comfortable. I'm not going to him anyway. No. Rude. They give you a bunch of blankets and cushions to get comfortable. I'm not going to him either. They agree, but only if they get cuddles. That's surprising. <laughs> my hero characters, if you ask for their phone number and ignore my hair, they happily give it to you with the brightest smile. Shinzo smile. They're confused why you want it, but they give it to you anyway. I want to chat with you and FaceTime you and call you. This person's like, I've already got your number. I got it from your friend. That's okay. Don't know who gave it to you, but that's okay. <laughs> they add the number in your phone, but they save their name as boyfriend or girlfriend. Of course he would. This person's so shy about it, they just completely forget their own number. <laughs> Why is that, like, kind of cute? And I don't even like him. <laughs> this is what they're like if you made him watch a romance anime with you. They grab a bunch of blankets and cuddle into you while watching. My heart just went. They are very tense and the whole time they're watching, they are blushing madly. Oh, They're pointing out all the parts they want to recreate. That's kind of surprising. They won't take their eyes off the screen, they are loving every second of it. That's so cute. They are rolling their eyes and complaining the entire time. You're just embarrassed. You have a new best friend and it's this person. You are lucky. But unlike her, this person absolutely hates you. 
I don't think I could live with an 80 me. This person has a crush on you. I would not be complaining about that. But he's out of luck because you have a crush on this person. It's a safer choice. <laughs> you inspire this person and they want to be just like you. He doesn't pop up enough. This person just thinks you're weird. I'm weird. Giving them new names, part three. This is going to be Togas. I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> okay, let's do Momos. My throat keeps going. That's nasty, you called her that. <laughs> this is going to be Shinzo's name. This is going to be Mirio's new name. I love that. <laughs> and of course we're going to do Tamaki's. This filter today. I just finished you watching Stranger Things, so we're gonna do. Did you just hear my voice? Let's try that again. My hero characters and Stranger Things characters. Starting off, this is Eleven. They're the one with all the powers who got control for years. This is his love interest who found him. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that ship ever. It probably exists though. This is Shoto's bestie who helped him find himself more. Has it gone dark? Oh no! Moving straight on from that, this is the babysitter. I love her. I'm running out of time, so this is Dustin. <laughs> hey, hero characters, if they were your deskmate and you stand next to them in class, they're always asking for help. It doesn't matter what you're doing, they just do not understand. I would love to be in a class with those outlaws. Like before he was a teacher. They're quiet and just keep to themselves. I will be bothering you every single day. They're always handing you little notes. I would keep every single one of those. They talk the entire lesson. If you are failing or falling behind, it's because of them. I forgive you. They're always helpful and let me copy them because they actually understand what they're doing. My hero characters, if you knocked on their door crying, they gasp and immediately pull you in for a tight hug. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> they give you a worried look and ask what's wrong. I can see that. They don't say anything, but they move to the side so you can come into their room. Oh, they're so cute. They don't want to deal with you, so they just close the door in your face. Now that's accurate. <laughs> They say you look pretty when you cry. Their reaction to you using a pickup line on them. They just burst out laughing, saying how cringy that was. Yeah. They're just confused, they don't understand. Thanks. They smirk and use a better one on you. This person turns bright red and hides their face. That's adorable though. They stare at you with the most unimpressed face you've ever seen. That's a bit rude. What they'll do if you told them a secret part two. They won't tell anyone except their best friend. I'm 
all right with them knowing though. They smirk at you and say you shouldn't give your secrets out. Is that a threat? They're interested. They want to hear more of your secrets. I'll tell you as many as you'd like. They tell you every secret they have ever had. That's so cute. They honestly feel honoured you trust them enough to tell them. How could you not trust him though? My hero cactus if you fell asleep in their arms. And also if I sound weird or look like I'm going to cry it's because I'm sick. They hold you close and gently stroke your hair. Oh. They just sit there and admire you. <laughs> there was one person who was angry yesterday that was like insulting him so thank you. They lay a blanket over you so you stay nice and warm. It's given me all the suspicious characters today. <laughs> they tense up in freeze, not really knowing what to do. They're so cute, I can kind of see that. They feel their entire heart just fill with warmth. Now that was even cuter than the last one. Their reaction to finding out they're your comfort character part two. They just want to become your best friend and stay by your side forever. That's so cute, you can. They're like, really, me, out of everyone. Of course, you might not like this, but they don't care in the slightest. They give you their number and tell you to call them whenever you need them. She would regret that. <laughs> They're claiming they don't care, but you gave them butterflies. That makes more sense. You work for them, and this is what they're like as your boss. You don't see them very often at all, but they're nice and say hello if they do see you. I would love to work for them. They check in on you at least once a day to see how you're doing. That's so cute. They overpay you way too much just because they want to show how much they appreciate you. Get you some new clothes. Trust me, you don't want to work for them. They are the worst boss. Absolutely not. At the end of every month, they get you a little gift as a little thank you for working so hard. See, that's the right one. <laughs> the filter was just joking, so who actually is the worst boss? No. I've done what they get up to on rainy days. But what if they spent snow days with you? They're making you hot chocolate and watching movies with you all day long. That sounds like a really good day. <laughs> They grab a bunch of blankets and ask if you want to have a nap day. Not with you. This person wants to do a bunch of baking to keep themselves entertained and they make you taste test everything. I want to bake with him, wouldn't that be so cute? They smirk and say you should cuddle them to keep warm. I wouldn't send him to that. They are dragging you outside to have snowball fights. 